Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're talking about why we should use templates. Now, as a video creator myself, I have used a lot of Motion VFX templates because they're ready to go, pre-designed, and they typically are going to achieve the goals that I need to achieve for my clients with a lot less of the work on the front end, whereas I don't have to build anything, I can just plug in my information and then modify things slightly to get maximum and awesome results. So why don't we take a look at a few use cases, we'll take a look at a few different types of templates and see how they might be able to integrate into your workflow so that you can save time and impress your clients. All right, here we go. So the first project we're gonna look at is project 1639. A spectacular like this can draw all the eyes to uh, an upcoming event and it can really build a lot of hype. Um, it's a set of digital screens that project slogans and graphics illustrating the topic and it creates a fantastic impression. It makes the viewer really excited and interested. Uh, and obviously you can customize it for your event and you've got a professional spot already ready to be made with very little work on your end. It's very much plug and play, and I think you're really going to enjoy it for any conferences or events that you might be creating videos for. All right, now real estate is a very, very big video niche. I know a lot of people that use motion VFX templates, titles, and plugins are creating videos surrounding real estate. This project 1684 is really incredible for that. It's a really helpful graphic uh, and it's a beautifully designed composition that will help you create a complete uh, video for the real estate agency or open house event, something like that. Multiple captions um, and footage holders in drop zones are pretty awesome throughout this along with changeable icons that can indicate the represented content and draw your viewers in. And then you close the deal out with a stunning ending screen for this real estate project so these are uh these are really really well designed and i have actually used them before for some of our real estate clients and they always impress and again very little work on your end you drag your content right into the drop zone and you're good to go we actually used this project on another one of our tutorials as well that shows you how to match align and sync up your video so that it will hit at the appropriate time within your drop zone so be sure to check that out so now why don't we look at the modularity of some of these. So Project 1668 is a great example here where we're able to use these titles as separate modules for our project. So obviously if you go over into Motion VFX and then you can find Project 1668, you're gonna have each of these modules here because this is a modular template. You will also find this project if you scroll down and go into Motion VFX in your generators. And then here it is as 1668 as a single generator. But from a modular standpoint, these are broken into titles. So you can see that we have a few of our titles down here and then we are using the drop zones. So over in our inspector, we have all of this information, our drop zones that we can make changes on. I've toggled animation out. I've turned that off because we are using Project 1668 transition as well that flows seamlessly between the two titles within that modular template. So then we just flow right into Project 1668 Part 3. As you can see, we can make our changes to our drop zones and our text. I made a change to the color there, put uh, the darker text over the white shirt. Then you can see going into our next title from Project 1668, which this one has the animation in that is affecting and it works perfectly well as a transition. And then we can, of course, make changes to our text and our drop zones here in the inspector. We can also talk about the modularity of our Project 1665, which is primarily a typography modular template. So you can see here, we have the beautiful animation in part one. 
that we can make changes, of course, to our text and our inspector, and then it flows right into our next title, which is Project 1665 Part 3. Now, with that said, if we wanted to, I could simply pick up and I could place Part 5 in the center, and now watch, it is still going to flow right together because these are modular you can pick them up you can add them change them move them around however you see fit to work with your video i'm going to press command z to go back over and then with this project 1665 title this one does require a background so if you look here i'm going to press v toggle that off you can't see it so you do need a background for this one and it kind of works in as a transition as well. Really cool, really slick. Of course, you could make text changes here. And that about wraps up a few of our use cases using these templates and modular templates from motionvfx.com. So in summary, I did just want to say we have over 1600 templates and all of them cover different needs and topics from news, slideshows, sports, to even clothing ads and events. They're like mini packs. So again, all the tools are related to the topic that they cover uh, from modules to lower thirds and transitions. All the elements are consistent. They're really easy to use and they're like ready edits. So you don't have to do a whole lot to them. They're good to go. If you have a boring edit, it's really easy to just drop one of these templates in and you look like the professional that you are in a fraction of the time. So the modules are a complete solution. You can even use those as interesting B-roll and your edits will shine. So don't forget about the templates that Motion VFX is putting out on a regular basis. They are incredible tools and we hope that you will be able to use those for your client work or for your personal work. Again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.